Hey everybody, um, I decided to do this update video, another update video, that's like my middle name anymore. Number one, because I'm in the car and I'm not being disturbed and it's a little bit different than at least, you know, sitting in my living room for the 10,000th time. Um, so I just got out of my doctor's office, which I don't know what I told you guys yesterday. She's really not a doctor. She's a nurse practitioner. That was the only available appointment that I had um, to take. Sorry, I don't want to like run over people. This one here is not even looking and she's got a baby in a stroller. Oh my God. Um, so it was a productive visit. I am going on a different antibiotic and this one has a broader spectrum to kill off anything that might be lingering still in this body. <coughs> um, she didn't take my temperature, but I don't think I have one, which was odd. She had me blow into this plastic gizmo to test my lung capacity, and it's fine. I My lungs sound clear, which is good. So maybe I don't even have bronchitis. Maybe, maybe it's just, you know, all the crap in there from the cold or I got the flu back. I don't know. She doesn't know. Um, I'm just, I hope to God this works because I'm going to be on it 10 days, not seven. And one of the side effects is it tears up your stomach. There's always something. So, I have to take it with food, which means I have to somehow manage to find something to eat that sounds good in theory, but, oh shit, I came the wrong way. Shit, shit, shit. Sorry. Damn, Nebit. Um, that's okay. Um, so hopefully, I just want to feel better. I want to feel stronger. I want to feel like, you know, like today, honestly, I feel a little bit better. But then I get my hopes up, I do stuff around the house, I do more than I should, meaning besides sitting on the couch, just, you know, things. And then I'm right back on the damn couch tomorrow. And now I've got this muscle pain right here in my neck because my friend came over on Sunday and she helped me move my massive bed from one wall to the other because I was hurting my other side of my neck and my hip watching TV. And now because I'm sleeping on this side and resting on this side, I'm, you know, primarily I'm in this position, you know, call it 21, 22 hours a day. See, I almost missed my turn. And, um, so now my gracious friend has offered to come back on Sunday to move my bed back to where it was. The girls hate it. I hate it. I thought maybe things would be better, um, but they're not. So, I am just like, oh, this one here, not looking, go stupid, oh my god. I almost run over a bicyclist. Um, but anyway, I mean, it's just like I can't, I can't get beyond maybe two days of being, let's just say, at 50%. And then that third day comes around and I'm right back to... I can't move. I don't want to get off the couch. I don't even want to get dressed. This is just... Uh, 
I don't want to say I've never been so sick in my life, but honestly, I can't remember ever being so sick in my life. I've had the flu take me down. You know, I've recovered from it. I haven't had, you know, no relief. Not one second of one day have I felt normal in two weeks. And it's been, my friends, two weeks today. It was December 17th where I just felt like crap. And on the 18th, I was on my bed. That was it. I knew I was sick. So, I am going back home to, oh, it doesn't even sound good. I have a thousand progressive soups in my cupboard. Um, I even bought some Lunchables, which I know are not good, like, you know, full of sodium and fat and all that stuff. They look good. I know I have to eat. Um, and then I'm gonna have to wait for my prescription to be ready. The girls will be happy. I'm gonna put them in the car and um, we're gonna go to Walgreens where I used to live and pick up my prescriptions. Um, she also mentioned to get a probiotic to take along with my prescription. Um, but I'll see how I do with, you know, if it really messes with my stomach, that's the last thing I want is, you know, she said, I'm sorry if it grosses you out, but it's a normal, well, it's not normal, but it's a bodily, you know, function. It could cause diarrhea. And I don't want that. I don't want another problem. And then, you know, if you have that, then you're losing um, water and then you could get dehydrated. And it's just like, I don't need any more problems is my, my thought behind all this. Um, it's just hard. I can't explain what it's like to be me now opposed to what it was to be me a year ago or even two years ago. You know, doctors would prescribe anything or tell me to take anything and I take it because I didn't care. I was like, fine, I'll take it. You know, I have a caregiver here. I'm literally five minutes from a hospital. I'm five minutes from my doctor's office. If anything, you know, should go wrong or if I have any questions, I'm five minutes from Walgreens. And now I have this phobia and this fear of taking medication. And I was never like that. I mean, as an example, when I had my back injury or compressed nerve or whatever the hell you want to call it a year ago, almost 18 months now, they gave me Norco, Valium, and Motrin. And they're like, you can take them all three at once. And I'm like, are you nuts? You don't take Valium and, and, Val and Vicodin together. No, no, you'll be fine. No, this was like two years ago. Yeah. So like two or three years ago, whatever it was, I took it. Best combination I ever had in my life. The three drugs. And I felt really, I felt better. Um, it took away some of the pain and um, now I couldn't even like fathom taking a Valium with a Vicodin. I, I can't even, I, I wouldn't do that now and I don't know why. It's, it's fear. She told me um, this nurse practitioner to, you know, make sure I take a Valium at night to help me relax. And I'm like, sweetie, I sort of, you know, I sort of do and sort of don't. Um, so I guess I'll try one tonight. And, um, God, there's a lot of cops out here today. I don't know why, like in two different cities. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the plan. That's where we are now. Um, 
I just want to take something so badly and I want to see a difference. I want to feel different. I want to feel strong. I want to get back out and start walking again and get back on my, if you will, you know, weight loss program. Um, I just feel like I'm wasting so much time. So much time is just, is going by and I'm not, you know, I'm wasting it. I'm wasting it sitting on the couch. I'm wasting it sitting at home. And it doesn't, you know, help mentally when you're just so sick and out of it and you're tired of, what is this? Oh, I don't know. Anyways, um, so I'm back home. I'm going to end this right now. I'm sorry. All this crap has been so boring. I appreciate all those suggestions and thoughts and prayers and, you know, I, you know, thank God I have medication that I'm picking up, but, you know, prior to all this, I, I was asking for meds. I was begging for meds. I even had penicillin left over from my tooth extraction, and I emailed my doctor, and I said, look, I've got X amount. Would it help me? Can it help me? And she's like, unfortunately, it's not going to help you do anything. So I got nixed off of that, and then they start with the over-the-counter crap. So I'm just glad this girl, person, practitioner, um, listened to me, saw me, and said, here, try this. So that's where we are right now. i got to get it off of this thing. And um, I managed to go to Walgreens to get some Kleenex and some more, huh, some more water. Anyways, um, so I will talk to you uh, maybe tomorrow, maybe in a couple days. Um, I don't know, but again, thank you so much for all your support, your prayers and your love. I appreciate it more than anything. All right. Bye guys.